When nice to fall, when nice to fall, turning away, turning away. When I'm lost and I cannot find a way, when the choices that I've made just don't feel right. My shepherd, always there for me. My shepherd. Always leading me, my shepherd, to your healing hands I come. When I am wrong, when I am wrong, knowing what's right, knowing what's right. When I'm lost and I cannot find the way, when the choices that I make. Don't feel right, my shepherd. Always there for me, my shepherd. Always leading me, my shepherd. To your healing hands I come. Welcome to the children's liter liturgy for the fourth Sunday in Easter. It's Mother's Day. This weekend we celebrate Mother's Day. And I hope that you've planned something special for your mother. Mothers are special all the time. And so you have to think about every day being very good to your mother. This is one day that the United States sets aside for special occasions. So maybe you brought her breakfast in bed, or like me, you said, please don't bring me breakfast in bed because I'll make a mess. But, or maybe you're taking a special walk with her today. Give her hugs and kisses and tell her how much you love her. And not just your mother, but your grandmothers and other people who are who treat you very nicely and they're like second mothers to you. Maybe your neighbor or maybe your teacher and you could say happy Mother's Day to them too. So enjoy your Mother's Day and let them know how much you love them. Today in the church we're celebrating Good Shepherd Sunday. Do you have any idea what a shepherd is? Well if you think about Christmas time the angels appeared to the shepherds. The shepherds were out watching their sheep at night under the stars. And the angels told them about the birth of Jesus. And so they went to find him in the stable where he was born. Shepherds had a very important job at the time of Jesus' life. But we don't see many shepherds or even sheep around out where we live these days. So it might be a little bit hard for us to understand the relationship between a shepherd and a sheep. But let me give you something you might understand a little better. Puppies and their masters. When you get a new puppy, you have to train it how to go to the bathroom and where to go to the bathroom and where it's going to sleep and what it can chew on and what it can't. And you start teaching him little tricks so that by the time he's a year or a year and a half, the master of the dog can say, come, sit, heal. And when the dog hears his master's voice, he comes. And when the master says, sit, he sits. And the master says, follow me. And the dog follows him. And what can be more faithful than a dog who follows his master, listens to his voice, and loves him unconditionally. Well, that's the way Jesus meant to be a shepherd and his sheep. We'll talk about that later today in the gospel. Before we start, I want to read you a little prayer. It's actually a psalm, Psalm 23. Right here. It's a 
without a shepherd. You can repeat this. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You, Lord, are my shepherd. I will never be in need. You let me rest in fields of green grass. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You lead me to streams of peaceful water and you refresh my life. You are true to your name and you lead me along right paths. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You treat me to a feast while my enemies watch. You honor me as your guest and you fill my cup until it overflows. Your kindness and love will always be with me each day of my life. And I will live forever in your house, Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. So let's light our candle. And begin our scriptures. Today's first reading tells about a time when Paul and Barnabas told a big crowd of people about the risen Lord Jesus. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the Sabbath service, many Jews and a lot of Gentiles who worshiped God went with Paul and Barnabas. They begged the people to remain faithful to God who had been so kind to them. The next Sabbath, almost everyone in town came to hear the message about the Lord. Paul and Barnabas told them, the Lord has given this command. I have placed you here as a light for the Gentiles. You are to take the saving power of God to people everywhere on earth. This message made the Gentiles glad and they praised what they had heard about the Lord. Everyone who had been chosen for eternal life then put their faith in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm today is, We are God's people, the sheep of his flock. Can you repeat that? We are God's people, the sheep of his flock. Shout praises to the Lord, everyone on this earth. Be joyful and sing as you come in to worship the Lord. We are God's people, the sheep of his flock. You know the Lord is God. He created us and we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep in his pasture. We are God's people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is good. His love and faithfulness will last forever. We are God's people, the sheep of his flock. Alle, alle, alle. says the Lord. I know my sheep 
and mine know me. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the first reading, Paul and Barnabas begged the crowd to remain faithful to God. What they really wanted was for people to follow God as faithfully as sheep follow their shepherd in today's gospel. Jesus talks about that. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel of John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, My sheep know my voice, and I know them. They follow me, and I give them eternal life, so they will never be lost. No one can catch them out of my hand. My father gave them to me, and he is greater than all others. No one can snatch them from his hands, and I am one with the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ale, ale, ale. In Jesus' day, sheep were very valuable animals and they were very hard to take care of because you had to watch over and keep them safe. Wild animals could attack them, robbers would come and steal them, so a shepherd had to fight off all these strangers and animals. But the good thing about sheep is that they were loyal to their shepherd. In fact, I was reading an article about sheep and shepherds, and it said that even today in Jerusalem and in the, that part of the world, the Middle East there, where they still raise a lot of sheep, shepherds still work with their sheep, and they take their sheep out into the pastures, into the grassy fields to eat during the day. And then at night, they bring them into a pen that's in the town where all the people live. And all of the shepherds keep their sheep in this great big pen during the night so that they can be safe from robbers and from wild animals. And then in the morning, when the shepherds come and they're ready to take them out to the pastures again, they just call their sheep. They may have a whistle or a particular sound and the sheep know who their shepherd is and they follow that shepherd to whatever stream or whatever pasture they're going to that day. So they don't even have to put a special mark on them to keep them apart. They know just who their, their shepherds are. They recognize their shepherd's voice and they always answer it. Just like I was talking about a dog before. A dog will hear their master's voice and come running. So the sheep would follow their shepherds wherever they went. And the shepherds, being good and wanting to take good care of these valuable animals, would take them to places that were nice. They would have the grass they would need to eat, the water they would need to drink, and they would be safe so that they wouldn't be falling off of cliffs or being attacked. So Jesus often used parables or stories to help explain an idea. And these parables taught a lesson. 
So when Jesus compared himself to a shepherd and he called us his sheep, he was letting us know that he wants us to follow him, to recognize his voice and let him lead us to places that are good for us and where we will be safe. And he also tells us that he will lead us to heaven where we will be safe forever with him and with his father. So let's listen for God's voice today. Where will we hear it? Well, we might hear it when we're telling our mother how special she is because whenever someone shows us love, they are showing us Jesus. So you may not hear his voice from him, but you'll hear it from somebody else. When your mother says, and I love you, you know that she loves you and God loves you too. All right, please stand for the profession of faith. I would like you to say, I believe in God to follow each of these questions. I believe in God, our loving creator, who made us and who calls us each by name. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ, our loving savior, who saves us from danger and who leads us to heaven. I believe in God. I believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who fills our minds with light and our hearts with love. I believe in God. Yes, we believe in a God who cares for each of us as though each one were the only person on earth. Let us pray that not one sheep of God's flock will be lost. Our response to each petition will be, we are your people and you are our God. We are your people and you are our God. That God will send good shepherds to the church all around the world. Let us pray to the Lord. We are your people and you are our God. That the leaders of every nation will do what is best for their people. Let us pray to the Lord. We are your people and you are our God that all parents will show their children the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. We are your people and you are our God. That all children will in turn love their parents. Let us pray to the Lord. We are your people and you are our God. Let us pray. Loving God, in today's liturgy, you have shown us what a true follower of Christ is like. A true follower goes wherever Jesus goes and answers whenever he calls. In the week ahead, help us to remember this whenever we are tempted to go our own way instead of his way. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And boys and girls, this is the month of May. So besides being your mother's special day today, May is a special month of our heavenly mother, Mary. And during May, we should pray special prayers for her and show her special love. Here I have a little statue to remind me about her. Here I have some flowers next to her. It's been the church's tradition for many years to have a little May crowning. That would be a time when there'd be a little procession and you would bring flowers and put flowers in Mary's statue's head on her inner hair. So if you'd like to have a little May crowning at your home, talk to your mom and dad about that. Have a wonderful week. Just as I am, just as I am, I come to you, I come to you When I'm lost and I cannot find my way When the choices that I've made just don't feel right 
my shepherd, always there for me. My shepherd, always leading me. My shepherd, to your healing hands I come. My shepherd, always there for me. My shepherd, always leading me. My shepherd, to your healing hands.